never heard it before. cap all the time, although it's a little chilly in here because of the air conditioning, so I might put the cap on later. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's Friday, and usually I have a wife on, but my current wife uh, doesn't really cotton to doing this program anymore, so uh, she does it when she wants to. However, she's assuming that I want her to be on it. Okay. But anyway, I, so I figured I would prevail on another wife, an ex one, to talk to me tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, out to Lake Oswego in Oregon we go. There is Ronnie Bennett. Hey, Ronnie. How you Hi there. How are you? How are you doing? I'm getting by. I'm it's okay. I, I said to her, you're looking terrific. And she really is. Look at her. Um, uh, and she said, "Am I really?" Even with you, my funny hair, you, you know, know, I'm but, letting it grow just to see what would happen. But, but I was just reading about you know how sick you had been in the last couple of weeks, and and you said, "Do it's I look so much sick as in a lot of pain?" Yeah, yeah, okay. And 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 but you said to me, "Do I look sickly?" And no, you don't. You look terrific. You know, with your Hard new for me to tell with your, with your new Mia Farrow haircut. Geez, that's terrific. oh, I'd forgotten <laughs> when she did a haircut like that. Now I remember. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I'm just letting it grow to see what will happen, and I'll figure out what to do after that. Winter will come, and I'll want hats anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you'll want hats anyway. Well, I mean, even if I didn't have a funny looking head, you know, or hair, I would want to put a hat on in the winter time. It's cold here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and uh, I got to tell you, uh, but you, you're looking, you know, you're looking as good as I've seen you in a long time here. You know, thank you for a, f a, you. a 98, uh, 98 for a 78 year old broad. You ain't bad. <laughs> I'd look even better for a 98-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd look terrific for a 98-year-old. I went to a wedding. You know, you, your, your thing is uh, timegoesby.net, which right. is uh, a um, uh, talks about getting older and aging and so on. This weekend, I went to a wedding of a friend of mine, Jack Garfine. Jack is 88 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, he has a friend. He survived a concentration camp, and he has a friend who was also a friend of his in the concentration camp. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're approximately the same age because if he was too much younger, they would have killed him, okay? But he was old enough to be put on a work detail. So his friend was there, and his friend is just sprightly and aware, and everything's fine, you know? But Jack, boy, you know, it was not... It, it, it was not easy getting him to the altar, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. and, and but, 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 Alex, everybody ages at entirely different rates. Right. And whether it's physical problems, there are people at 60 who are already decrepit. And there are people in their 90s who are still driving cars or working and doing all kinds of things. So age is not a predictor of how you're aging as a yeah woman. yeah but he uh, he uh you know and he married believe it or not a 41 year old woman don't think anything about that she's a wonderful person and uh she truly loves him and there's you know there's no money in this deal and she just she she wanted to get married so she would be able to take care of him as he got old you know as he, if he got infirmed she wanted to be able to have some say so about his care and so on that's nice that's where, nice where his his children would be the only people who could do that if she wasn't married to him so they got mm -hmm. married and uh it, it was a it was a nice wedding but, you know, when I first met Jack, he was still walking on the beach at Fire Island. And now he couldn't walk out to the sidewalk in Fire Island. I mean, that's... And, and we've only known them two years. 
So it's kind of, it, it, it's, it, I'm seeing aging going on. And of course, being 79, remember when you were a kid, you would go, how old are you? I'm 79 and three quarters, you know? But you don't do that anymore. You always round it off to the earliest date. So I'm, I'm 79 till December 18th at 10:10 uh, in the morning, <laughs> you know, before <laughs> I before I say I'm 80, okay? Uh, but I'm 80. I'm going to be 80, and that's Little only. Kids always do it this way. I'm five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> five, five and a half. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, I, at what age did we stop doing that? I think when we got into our teens, we didn't do that any longer. Oh, I think we, when we went to school, we stopped doing that. Got yeah, much younger. Yeah. So anyway, so um, you know, I, uh, uh, you're right about aging. People age differently because I always talk about the time I took you to your uh, your high school reunion, and all these people were in this room, and they were all basically, if you take a, a, a date in the middle of it, on either side of it, they were like maybe six months either way. You know, in other mm -hmm. words, almost everybody in the room was the same age. Mm -hmm. All right, you don't see that very often. And I was amazed. Well, the ones who couldn't, who weren't doing so well in their old age, couldn't make it to the reunion, probably. Yeah, well, you you were at that time, I think you'd hit 50 or something like that. I don't know what the age was. But what uh, uh, amazed me was looking at the age range and looking at the, these people in this room were basically all within the same age range and how differently they all looked. How some looked very young, some looked much older than their years. And I don't know what the determination is of that. Is there something that we can do in life to make ourselves stay young? Well, do you want to? Uh, <coughs> well, I don't know that age has gotten me anything. You know, it's not like uh, I didn't get a... Uh, but it's a given. I mean, you're born, you live, you die. To lament any part of your life, particularly mm -hmm. that it gets longer and longer... Uh, what's called old age. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's as different a part of life, time of life, as adulthood is from teen years, from young, you know, infants and so on. Yeah. It's, and we haven't ever paid much attention to it, and how different it is because nobody wants to talk about old age, which I find, you know, well, I've been for 15 years, I've been writing about old age. I find it fascinating. Um, and it's a whole different time of life, which I want to enjoy or be aware of from w without pretending to be otherwise mm -hmm. of what's really happening to me. Oh. You know, so I have cancer now and I'm having a little problem with some pain unrelated apparently to the cancer, but to some drugs I'm taking. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's been a little bit hard for a couple of weeks. But um, it comes with old age. Things go wrong. Things go wrong. And but I never get over being interested, whether it's me or you or anybody else. Let, let, let's talk about the, the... You're talking about all the nice and wonderful things about getting old. And, and what I find terrible about getting older are a couple of things. Uh, uh, one of which, the most obvious of which, is that we are dismissed. You know? It's yes. like we become. Men, well, we come, women know that more than men do. We become invisible to the rest of the world. Well, you become invisible. You guys get a few more years than women do. You know. Before you become invisible. Well, yes, I guess so. Yes, you y do. Yes, we do. I I agree with you. We do. But at my age, no, I am dismissed. Okay. Mm -hmm. I you know. Now I mean, you know what we've been going through since we were 35 or 40. You know, I thought that as I got older, there would be certain positive things that would happen to me. And one of the positive things that was going to happen to me is uh, somebody would always offer me a seat on the subway. Forget it. It doesn't exist. Right? I could How be there with a walker. Last time I was in New York, I was taking the subway to go have dinner with someone. Yeah. And it wasn't particularly crowded. There were a few of us standing. And the person in front of me stood up to give me their seat. Now, I was all dressed up to go to dinner. I thought I was looking pretty good. But this looked like about a 19-year-old who <laughs> stood up and offered me a seat. So I must have looked like his great-grandmother to him. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and offered me his seat. And I was, you know, I was quite comfortable standing, but it seemed... Uh, what? 
almost polite, more polite to say thank you and sit down than to say no thank you, hmm. you know, even though I didn't feel like I needed to sit. Right, right. Um, and it's, I mean, some of them are kind of amusing like that, the things that happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's true, and it's something I've been, you know, railing against our invisibility for as long as I've been doing the blog. It's not going to change anytime soon. But, you know, it, it's interesting that, that this dismissal uh, takes place earlier and earlier and earlier. I mean, I know people in, uh, in the business who are writers uh, for TV shows. You hit 40, they won't hire you. When I was first studying aging, before I started the blog, which was 15, 16 years ago, mm-hmm. and I spent five or six years just studying aging, and at that time, some research had been done that age discrimination in the workplace began for men at 40 and for women at 45. Not any specific industry like you're talking about. Yeah. Just in general, on average. Hmm. That young, it begins to start. What I don't think is that at 35 or 40, you're just getting good at what you do. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I, I, somebody once said to me, they, the, when Eric Clapton first came out, they said, oh, he's terrific. And I said, well, I guess he is, but I'd like to hear him about, oh, I don't know, 20 years from now and see how much he's improved because of all the virtuosity he has gained. And, and that's what you gain, especially in your field and my fa- field, is virtuosity. I think any field, you get better at what now, you do one I'm, way or another. I'm lucky that I lasted till I was like, 73, 74. Uh, I always thought business. you would at last on radio until you wanted to quit or drop dead because nobody can see you, so they can't. And you don't have, Doesn't, you know, your voice you is know, still you, vibrant. You know who can see you? The people you're working for. Right, exactly. And that's yes. the problem. You know, I mean, I know that age had something to do with my dismissal because when I was dismissed, they said to me, "I have to before we give you your uh, what do you call it? Your uh, uh, what's final the, check? Uh, uh, the the money they give you for about sixteen weeks, you know, uh, severance, severance pay. pay, severance pay. Before we give you the severance, you have to sign this disclaimer that you won't sue us for age discrimination." Oh. And I said, uh, "Otherwise, we won't give you the money." And I said to them, "Well, to begin with." That's you, you, legal. I said, do you realize that what you just asked me to do is age discrimination? Because you're also firing my producer, who is Albert Reynoso, who happens to be, at the, I think he was still in his 40s at the time, late 40s at the time. I said, you didn't say, say this to him, did you? Well, we, uh, we just want you to sign this, blah, 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 blah. And I went, Wow. You know, that, this is age discrimination if there ever was that. I said, I'll sign it because if I want to take you to court, I'll win because just making for saying, probably hold. Probably not. No. Say, no saying, the way the laws have been changed, we probably wouldn't. Well, this was several years ago. And he, I said, you know, I thought to myself, you know, if I wanted to sue them for age discrimination, the fact that they are holding up money for me, which I, severance is something that I'm owed, okay, by the company rules and regulations, you know. So uh, since I'm owed that, uh, I think that, need, well, neither of us are lawyers. Let's not. Go well, there anyway, the it. point was that you was, don't know that. That, and neither that was do real. I. That was really a case of age discrimination. Saying, well, it you know, looks like it on the surface. According to law, it may not be because they've weakened the law over the years again and again and again. Wow, wow. So, you know. I'll ask you about something entirely different. Sure, go ahead. Why not? What's your take on the Jeffrey Epstein death? Well, I, there's a six, you know, the six degrees of separation that you could take somebody who knew Epstein and then you could take somebody else and somebody else and somebody else till you find out where in that state of separation you fit. No, no, uh, I am, no, no, no. I am, I'm not asking where I, you I am one get. degree. I, I, I am one. I care what you uh, think about Hold his on death. A I'm one step removed from Jeffrey Epstein. We don't care. Uh, well, we care what you think about his death. Uh, I think uh, about his death. Uh, I think everybody's making too big a deal out of it because aren't they glad he's dead? 
you know, I mean, I, that's not what I mean at all. Do I think that there was a plot to kill? I think somebody done him in. I think it's obvious. No question. I don't. I don't know about that. You know, I really don't. I'm. Come on. This morning they they have a different story every day. This morning the story was. This is Wednesday the fourteenth. There'll be another one tomorrow. Um, was that two qualified guards? were asleep for three hours, both of them, while he committed suicide. Hmm. Well. That's just today's story. There was a different one yesterday. I, you know, I don't know that anybody needed to have him killed. You know, of course, Trump is saying it's the Clintons. No, that. That, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. But um, you don't think so? You don't think all of the famous names in his little black book or however he kept them? Yeah, but how are they all going to get together, you know, to conceive a plot to, to kill him? They don't have to get together. Just one of them is what you're saying. Yes. I don't, I really don't think that was the case. I don't know why I don't think it, but... Um, well, think it through. I mean, why do you? Why well, do you? The one degree you of can't separation. Just make it up. The, the one, must the, be a the one, the one degree of separation that I have is my friend Bobby Slayton, who's a comedian. Whenever he would come to New York, he'd say, "Well, I'm staying at this friend's apartment house, where he has an apartment that he lets people stay when they come to town who he likes." And he says he's a fan of mine, and he puts me up, and he introduced him to Woody Allen, and so on. Turns out it was Epstein, and so I've I've asked him about Epstein. And uh, he said, you would have never known that was going on. He said he liked young women, but not children, not girls. He liked young women. I always saw him with younger women. But well, that, once, a week, once a year when he came to town? No, no, no. He would come here two, three times a year. Yeah, two or three yeah. times a year when he came to town, he knows that? Well, I mean, he said by his observation, you know. Uh, but there was something he mentioned to me the other day. That the thing about Epstein that nobody knows because they've never made a big deal out of it because they've got him on this other stuff. That he was involved in Ponzi schemes and people have been convicted of Ponzi schemes and being associated in dealing with them and having his own Ponzi schemes going. We know that, though. We know that about yeah. him. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, this guy was a low life. Okay, he was an ingratiating... A rich low life. He, no, no, he was an ingratiating low life. In other words, he would always ingratiate himself <laughs> to famous people, you know, um, to famous people. Uh, but but he was a low life nonetheless, and and uh, uh, you know he he would go in and ingratiate himself. I mean, people go, well, Donald Trump. Look, there's a picture of him with Epstein. Yeah, but that's Epstein. He, Epstein would seek out Donald Trump, you know. Uh, he would seek out Prince. Uh, Edward, is it, who supposedly? Andrew. 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 And Prince Andrew. I mean, this was the kind of guy he was. Um, and he, you know, it's the old joke in, there's a, about, a, about guys in Hollywood. There are people down there who haven't used people yet. You know, I mean, he used everybody. That was his, that was his thing. Who knows if he had that much money in reality? You know, he could have been. I, that, that, I'm only I'm only curious about the mystery of his death. Uh, the rest of it, I don't much care mm -hmm. about. But, yeah. Um, except he shouldn't go around doing things like that with little girls. I I, but, I, I think whatever they did uh, there at the jail was irresponsible. Uh, certainly, if the guy they thought the guy attempted suicide two weeks early, you don't exactly take him off suicide watch. You know, I mean, what was that about? What was it about? And if he hanged himself, I want to know what he hanged himself from. Well, that is, well, you've got a point there. I thought about that myself. You know, you're in a cell. You've got a blanket. You can strangle yourself with that. And there's a bunk bed. We all know how tall bunk beds are. Yeah, a bunk bed wouldn't do it. Uh, they no. don't have any curtain rods there. Bars? And they don't put curtains in jail cells. They don't have bars. No. You know, so... Um, I, you know, uh, quite frankly, you're making me suspicious now. <laughs> I, 
I mean, I can't wait to see what tomorrow's story is. Yeah, well, you know, but what what gets me is is how everybody's so upset he's dead. Well, uh, you know, I mean, come on, this is a guy everybody wished dead, okay? And then when he dies, they go, "How dare he?" I mean, I could see that he committed suicide because if I were in that situation, I probably would too. If you knew that you were going to spend the rest of your life buying bars, there was no way you were getting out of this one, okay? And that there was only more and more and more coming out every day. Um, uh, the fact that he took his life is not out of question. Out of the we question. don't know that he did. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I mean, what a, you know... Uh, what, what he became it's interesting in this time of a lot of stories happening he became the object of most talk i mean trump must have hated him because it took trump off the front page for a couple of days you know when i woke up what was it saturday morning he was found dead sometime during the night i mm -hmm. think and it mm -hmm. was saturday morning we heard yeah. about it yeah back up a number of years and maybe several that well obviously several decades in those days, I woke up to the radio would click on to get me up to go to work. Mm -hmm. And usually it clicked on if I was still asleep. It clicked on in the middle of someone's sentence. You know, you didn't know what they were talking about yet. Right, right. But one morning, lo, those many decades ago, the radio clicked on, woke me up, and said, John Lennon was shot dead last night. I mean, mm -hmm. a full sentence. Yeah. I had never heard a full yeah. sentence. Yeah. And the same thing happened when I turned on the television to see what's happened overnight with my coffee <laughs> when the audio came on. You know, Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his cell yesterday. And those are the only two times in my life that I got a whole sentence when I turned on or the radio came oh, on. Oh, wow. The wow. <laughs> wow. How'd you feel when you heard that John was dead? Because we knew John. Yeah. I mean, that was terribly sad. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Um, you know, and in those days, I had been in touch with Yoko, not John. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and it wasn't like they were friends. We occasionally had dinner or drinks with them. I did, we didn't know them all that well. Yeah. Um, acquaintances, you could call them. Acquaintances, yeah. And, uh, um, you know, a couple times a year, maybe we would see them. Um, it, it was just, a, it, it's always shocking when young people die unnecessarily, whether it's an auto accident or someone killing them or, and, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and, and what was he only around 40? I mean, we were, we were all young and, you know, carefree and, uh, not, maybe not so carefree in those days, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it was, so it was doubly shocking. I mean, if someone my age dies, mm -hmm. whether by misadventure or just old age, it's not unexpected. It's not a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it is when you're 40. And it was, it was, it, and he was such a part of the, uh, of the culture of that moment in time of those years. Well, you know what he represented was it represented four people who were a part of our lives and who defined a time in our lives. And now one of those people is gone and they will never get back together again. There was never that hope. You know, that 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 his death made a little part of us die. Uh, and and a little part of that moment in time that we lived through that was yeah. culturally quite different from what came before and what came after. Yeah, it was kind of a mark almost of an end of a of an era. Mm -hmm. I think I didn't know that at the time. I, I'm saying that only in hindsight. Right. Right. Um. And and I think that's always true of people who die young, who are part of the, part of our are like whether we know them or not. I mean, it's, you know, somebody that stars in a TV show you've been watching for 10 years, you know, or something. Um, Do you realize there are 20-year-olds you could talk to today and go, who is John Lennon? You know, that's very interesting, as I hear often from older people my age, thereabouts, that their grandchildren listen to the Beatles and love them. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't oh, that interesting? That is I mean, interesting, yeah. That's from 50 years ago now. But, you know, most of the time I find I'm making references to people that I think are contemporary enough, and it turns out that the, you know, the 18-year-old sitting there goes, who, who are you talking about? Right. You know, who and are you that's, talking about? And that's fine. I'm quite sure that our parents said that about the musicians or other heroes that we had. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's that's yet another thing about what we where we started out today, and that is that uh, uh, your definition of of your life and the people things that defined your life uh, to other people never existed to them because they didn't they didn't, they weren't there for it. And again, know? reverse it as I just did. Yeah, it's true of your parents' generation and the mm -hmm. generation before that. I mean, we didn't have the media prior to our parents' generation that we have today. So um, our heroes, the people we admired or enjoyed, weren't probably as widespread yeah. in our parents' day and before than, as they are now, wow. when we can just flip on our computers and see anything that's going on in the world. Wow. Yeah. But, um, but then that's, you know, that's as it should be. The world changes. Our generation changed some things in the world that got inherited by the next generation right and so on and it will keep going that way if we don't climate change ourselves out of existence and we've uh, we've uh, kind of uh, talked ourselves out of existence for this 25 minutes <laughs> always great talking to you you know and and you do look very very healthy today <laughs> So Thank I want to I want to say that just so you, you know that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's Ronnie Bennett. Time goes by. Net is her blog, and if you want to find out what it's like to get older, and you're not older yet, you should find out what it's like to get older. So when you get there, you're prepared. Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> and it'll be entirely different for younger people than for us. Thank you, Ronnie. Bye -bye. Okay, talk to you soon. Five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, and that's it. Thank you, Ronnie Bennett. Yay. I love talking to her. Uh, I never thought I would say that years ago, but, <laughs> but it is, uh, it's turned out okay. It's turned out all right, you know. There we go. I'm just trying to get some switches said here so that uh, we don't uh, over modulate which we may have during that interview but i don't care yeah. let me see here let me uh, let me uh, let me set up my skype i don't i don't ever set up the skype because people can call me even though it says i'm not online because they they oh look at uh, you know because they have this new thing that's called invisible but that doesn't mean you can't call me. So if I have it on invisible and some idiot like somebody did one night tries to call me while I'm invisible, the phone rings and then that makes noise on the show. And because it's all on the same pod as the, yeah, 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 I'm a, you know, you know, it's like you, you don't want to know how the steak is made, you know, how the cow is killed. You just want the steak. Okay. And not that this is a uh, steak here. So. Anyway, uh, the lines are open. Uh, I'm ready to take some callers here uh, as they um, as they line up and queue up for the program. Last night, what did we do? We had uh, it's six, seven people. Yeah, yeah it's good, good sized uh, panel. We like those panels. We don't. Okay, okay there's the first one ringing in, and it's. Uh, it's uh, Charlie Wallace, ladies and gentlemen. He's the first one to uh, make it to the, uh, let's see here. Is he, hey. uh, there, there he is. Uh, see him? He's down there. He's on the, he's on the bottom there, see? Uh, because he's in the same place he was last night. So why should I give him a new place, right, Charlie? That's me. Yeah, wait a minute. You're breaking up a little bit there, Charlie. Sometimes that happens with you and then it clears up okay. Yeah. Anyway, how's the weather down there in Arizona? Is uh, oh, oh, about 114. Uh, do you go out when it's 114? Sure. Really? I, I go to my air-conditioned car and I drive to the air-conditioned store. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, but somewhere in between that, you've got to go to the non-air conditioned outside to get to the air conditioned store, or to get to the air conditioned car. You know. Yeah. 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 Let me see here. I'm going to um, be out in 140 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, let me see here. You're you're very bright, uh, Phil. Yeah, I gotta check out why. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. I we had a power glitch here. Although I've got a backup power thing, it, uh, nothing should have happened. But the uh, uh, let me see what's going on with the brightness. Yeah. Oh, there, there. It's going down. There we go. There you go. Nice. Now, you're, now you're fine. Yeah, but it shouldn't have to be that far down. Let me just. Uh, well. Restore the defaults. Hmm. Well, anyway, who knows? It? Oh, maybe bright might be the new default. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, I hate it when. Uh, when, they, when what is that? Uh, I hate it when stuff goes on uh, while you're not near your computer, and then you come back to it, and you just want to use it like you always use it, and mm -hmm. it's all fucked, you know. Uh, and and. Uh, I have that happen a lot, especially with this. Like every time I reboot the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, computer, my Mac, uh, it reverts to the old settings for the uh, for the for the uh, for the video picture, and uh, I, I have to then go in and reset it again. So yeah. That, yeah. So that you know we can uh, it can. It, it, it can look okay. Like I had to reset it tonight because I rebooted the machine earlier in the day for one reason or another. What was it? That was something I was trying to do. But anyway. Yeah. Um, All right. Hello, That's good. Hello, Jeff. How are you doing this evening? I'm here. I'm good. I'm uh, alive See, at, and happy. At our age, you go, so how are you today? Well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you That's know. what counts. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's um, you know every morning I wake up and uh, you know death has its scythe in uh, in hand and it's uh, over my shoulder, and it's going eh, not today. I'll give you another day, pal. You know, uh, <laughs> let's see here. Ray Renati is calling. I wonder where he's going to be. Uh, he's probably going to be out there. He is. He's outside somewhere. He never calls us from his house anymore. He's always out running or doing stuff. It's too hot out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Goomba's here. Yeah. Well, I've hey, got it. I've got so a, There's it, my bike. There's the bike. Uh, so, so this bike yeah. is like 25 years old. And when I bring it to the bike shop, all the young guys are like, "Whoa, man! It's like an antique. It's so cool." <laughs> and to me, it still feels new. <laughs> Did you mention that you happen to be an antique as well? Yeah, yeah, well, I say, yeah, well, look at me. Yeah. I'm an antique as well, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. anyway. Anyway, and that, by the way, that's his license plate, so if anybody wants to, like, oh, steal, shit. steal his, uh, his identity. Oh, no, it's on the internet forever. <laughs> Thanks for announcing that, Alex. Thanks, uh, cool. Oh boy! Oh well, yeah. you know. I don't worry. I don't have privacy anymore. Anyway, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been taking uh, Xanax privacy. too many nights in a row, and now I'm tired all the time. Oh, I, I, Xanax. I, well, I, I was gonna go work out today, uh, and then I, yeah. was, from, I was so wiped out from the Xanax, <laughs> I couldn't get myself out the door. So I, I got to get back to working out. Uh, because it'll help. the more you take that Xanax, the the worse <laughs> weird shit will happen to you. Well, no, no, no. no. I, 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 I I've never taken more than a small amount when I take oh, good. it. You know, and some nights yeah. I don't take it. You know, so it's not. Yeah, solid. that's good. That's what you got to do. My cool. wife, my wife yeah. takes it every night. You know. Ooh, she's gonna be dependent then. Oh, well, oh, well. No, her, her doctor says um, at the rate she's doing it, there'll be no dependency. On the, on the oh, it's Xanax. a tiny, tiny amount. Yeah, how much were you taking? Well, I'm on, I'm still on Clonopin. I'm on 0.39 oh. milligrams. I'm working down five percent a month, and I've been on it for 20 years. I started on a milligram, oh. so it's taken me 16 months to get to this. What does Clonopin do but for I'll, you? 
same thing as Xanax, but it but it's uh, it has a forty eight hour half life instead of like eight like Xanax. Yeah, Xanax. <laughs> Xanax. Uh, my doctors told my to Marjorie that, uh, and he told me too. He said Xanax. If you if you're just using the same amount every night to put you to sleep, he said, don't worry about it. It's no problem. Just as oh, okay. long as you're not taking, you know, we take, we, we, he gives us the uh, two milligrams and then we cut off a quarter of it and take a quarter to go to sleep. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I did it the last couple of nights, uh, but uh, it, because the other pills that I take, the gabapentin, which is supposed to help my neuropathy, only aggravates it. Oh, that's what it did to my neuropathy, too. So I had to switch to uh, Lyrica and that worked. Really? Maybe I'll ask yeah. my doctor about Lyrica because it's kind of like, oh, you know what though? What is what is it like? What is it? Uh, because well, they're both I, anti uh, anti. Because um, I they, they they gave me you, they gave me a pill. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it now, and it just made me just go insane, literally. That, that's what gabapentin did to me. No, gabapentin doesn't do that to me. But this other thing did. What was, what was what was it called? I was looking at the name today of it. Um, hemlock. Yeah, hemlock. <laughs> uh, and and it was it it uh, I just didn't like the way it made me feel, so I stopped taking it. And then we had to go up and see our friends up in Vermont, and I was just nasty as fucking hell for about two days as I was coming down off this drug, which I'd been using for only a week. But it was just terrible. So my doctor took me off of that and said, try the gabapentin. Do that, you know. But oh, the, maybe it was the Lyrica that did it then. No, it wasn't called oh. Lyrica. It wasn't Lyrica. Oh. It so, was. so what my doctor told me is if you have the nerve problems, that if gabapentin doesn't work, Lyrica probably will and vice versa. Yeah. But if they give you gabapentin first because it's cheaper. Whoa, uh, uh, pill, uh, well, wait a minute, what, what kind of pill was that? I, I, I don't know what it was, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'll it, turn the sound off so it's not windy. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. So, uh, oh, I, you know why we can't see you? I just looked over here, I couldn't see. Because I didn't push the other button. And now people will be able to see you. There we go, Ray. I'm sorry. Sorry, folks, that I did that, but, you know, that's what the Xanax does to me. Uh, let me see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, what, let's see here. Uh, what do I have? Neuropathy. Neur, uh, neuropathy uh, in feet. And then uh, it'll, it'll have something like uh, what's the best vitamins, walking good for neuropathy, how do you calm down neuropathy, causes and symptoms, Diagnosis and treatment. There we go. Treatment uh, medications, pain relievers, okay, anti seizure medications, uh, topical ointments, antidepressants. Here, it's got to be under, the, it's got to be here. What was the one I was taking? Um, uh, here, here it is amitriptyline. And it was just ghastly, just horrible. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, I have no idea, but it, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about Lyrica here. Uh, no, no, no. Anyway, I'm going to ask him if he can give me something. Lyrica else. is originally it's an anti-seizure Lyrica yeah, originally, but, but it's but not, they don't use it for that anymore. It's not amitriptyline, though, is it? It's no, not, I don't uniform. think. So. I'm not sure what the what the uh, chemical name is for Lyrica. I don't know. Mm. Might be. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I wonder, a lot, I, I, I had a friend of mine who was a comedian at one time who now works for a company that comes up with names for products. They hire them to come up with names for products. And the one of the ones that his company came up with was Swiffer. Now, how you come up with a name like Swiffer for something that's a duster, who knows? But Swiffer seems to have stuck, you know. So there are people who've got to name these things like, you know, Lyrica. Oh, gee, that'll be a nice name because everybody will say it's like a lyric. You know, it's sweet. It's nice. It's a good positive term. But uh, uh, so anyway, amitriptyline is the one that. I, are we boring you, Phil? 
Uh, no, I had a cough, and uh, I didn't want it to go over the air. Oh, well, that looked like <laughs> you were <laughs> yawning. You didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway. So, uh, anyway, um, uh, how, how has your day been today, Phil? Uh, I just left the Rolfers, and uh, I feel pretty good. I'm not screaming as much as I used to. I'm uh, getting uh, more accustomed to it. My calves don't hurt. You know, they used to be really tight, yeah. and walking was difficult. Uh, it's definitely improved, and uh, I feel good. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you, you know, I, I, I was rolfed. I had somebody do some rolfing on me for a while. And I actually really liked it. I mean, I don't like pain, but yeah. I, but I like. If you're gonna massage me, don't fuck around. Well, you know? uh, the I've been going uh, since uh, last October, so it, it's six eight months, and I've been going every week. Yeah. And uh, it's because I was really tight, and this has made a big difference. Uh, really? I feel like a you know I feel much younger. My gait is better. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm much. I'm very happy that I'm doing. You it. really believe these things work, don't you, Phil? Well, I know that this does. Mm -hmm. And you... you know, I recommended it to a friend uh, who wears stiletto high heel shoes, and she's only gone twice, and it's made a, a world of difference for her too. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything maybe that you could take that would make you a more of a decent human being when it comes to politics? <laughs> Yeah, a Republican pill. A Republican pill? What yeah. is that? It must be a really bitter one. Yeah. <laughs> why, are, why does it look like we're looking through gauze? Uh, uh, He's, uh, I, is, I guess. It, 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 is Ray, like, doing art today, or what is that? Oh, okay. Uh, it, it must have been f focused on his shirt, and his shirt was red or... Well, he never uh, can. He just never does this. From oh, we lost him. We lost him. Yeah. Lost his picture. See, yeah. see, that's what happens when you try and do stuff out. He was so young. Yeah, there he is again. <laughs> and now we get him in. In oh, now oh oh, I see. Okay, he was. He's 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 giving us the riding Other view. view. Yeah. Hey, I. You know, when you said we lost him, I I was uh, you know. Ready to give him an, uh, an obit. Yeah. You know? Speaking of obits, today the uh, autopsy came out on... Uh, yeah, hanging. Yeah. Suicide. Suicide, yeah. He, and uh, Peter Fonda. Yeah, yeah, Peter Fonda, Doc. Yeah. Or uh, Fonda Peter, as he was known in school. Yeah. Yeah. Fonda Peter. Yeah. 79. So young. Yeah. Uh, just a few months younger than I was. Yeah. He was born in February of 1940, yeah. and I was born in December of 1939. So he uh, was 79. He died of cancer. Yeah. Oh, you, know, you know what you mean? You know what everybody says when you hear somebody died of cancer? He must Smoked. have been a smoker. Yeah, that's the general assumption. You know, I mean, it could be any one of a number of other cancers, but... Uh, um, you know, uh, that's a common one. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, uh, you never you never lose those years at the beginning of your life. You lose them at the end when you really want them. You wait, know? wait, wait, wait. Uh, from smoking. Oh, oh, from smoking. Oh, yeah. Well, no, the, 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 the problem with smoking is <coughs> that if, anybody else here smoke in there? Yeah. Tom, you smoke. I use right, Jeff? Uh, so you, 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 you know this, uh, and it's, it's true. Uh, you always think when you start smoking, well, this isn't going to hurt me. It's not, yeah. you know, you should have known from the first time you took a puff and you coughed, but yeah. you know, you, you didn't. And hacked. And you figure you're the one that's going to get away with it. And I got news for you. Only, I can't remember the percentage, but it's only like 30% or something like that of people who smoke ever get uh, lung cancer. That's a pretty high percentage. But, but yeah. then there's a percentage that gets heart problems, and then there's a percentage that gets other stuff. For instance, yeah. I had a doctor once, a urologist, who I hated like most of my urologists in the past, uh, who said to me, uh, 
Well, you know, we have to give you a, a cystoscopy because you may have bladder cancer. And I went, what makes you think that? He said, well, you know, you smoked for 40 pack years. That's how we put it, 40 pack years. I smoked for 20 years. I smoked two packs a day. Therefore, I smoked 40 pack years. That's an awful lot of cigarettes. Uh, uh, That's about 40 cigarettes a day. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you got a problem with that? Well, that's, uh, what, two an hour, you know, 24, 48, I, I, I two an hour? I didn't put them out. I kept smoking them, smoking them, smoking them. I'm just a chain smoker. So, wow. uh, But anyway, so uh, well, no, nobody's a chain smoker anymore because they can't afford to be. Yeah. But in those days, when a pack of cigarettes was like, well, you got them for free if you walked around enough. Around and Union people Square. Were, people were handing them out, you know, in these packs of five and so on. Um, uh, but now was, you're a pariah if you smoke. It was really, really cheap. Today it's so expensive that I, you know, people say, "Can I bum a cigarette?" That's what they used to say to you. Uh, today I'd say, "Are you kidding me? I, I, you can't, you can't fucking bum my cigarette." How come yeah. all the homeless people that are asking for change on the quarter on the corner all smoke? Yeah, uh, you know, they they all smoke, and every time you pass them, they're well, smoking. To begin with, they have nothing to live for. Okay. Either that or they're seriously rich and they just do this to, you know, augment their uh, Here, home. investments. Here's a little clue I got from Shecky about something. Yeah. It says, when somebody comes up to you and they want some money and stuff like that, you know, uh, look at their shoes. Mm. And if they've got a nice pair of shoes on, fuck them, you know. Because uh, uh, they're in better shape than you think they are, you know. They're just trying to get some money out of you. I do you ever give money to people who ask you for money on the street. Occasionally. Really? What? 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 Yeah. Is, what is the sucker's pitch that you give into? Depends on my attitude. Yeah. You know, if, well, I'm, you... if I'm feeling like uh, generous, uh, and somebody says that they need money, mm -hmm. okay. You know, uh, why not? Yeah. And, you know, I carry $2 bills. So, uh, and that's what I use. Oh, you do? Ca you carry $2 bills with you? Yeah. A and you do that for what reason? Uh, tips and uh, I get my car washed. I give the guy two the $2 bill. I uh, Sometimes I go to a restaurant that, you know, has a little tip jar. I stick the $2 bill. Uh, you know, and if I get approached on the street and I'm, and the well, person you, doesn't you, look where, like a drug addict. Where do you get the $2 bills? They still have them at banks? Yeah, I'll show you. I got a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah, um, because, uh, you know. Um, you get them from any bank. You really, yeah. you can still uh, yeah, get I order them. I order them at the bank. Why do, uh, why do they still make them? Nobody uses them. Except I you. do. Yeah, yeah. Two dollars. Wow. Two dollar bills. Wow. God, you know, if I were begging on the street, and you gave me a two dollar bill, I wouldn't use it. I would just hold on to well, it. And well, show people think it's good luck. It's unusual, and it's better than a five if you're going to give it away. I have, I have for about ten years. Hey, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I hate. I don't know if if your ATMs do this now. By the way, why Ray are we getting like a pink picture? Where is yeah, your, where yeah. is your phone under your shirt? You know uh, they had some radioactive stuff in Russia, and maybe <laughs> Ray is a Russian plant. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> who, who knows what that? You know all they about. wanted iodine. Yeah, who knows what that's all about? Anyway, here's, here's what ATMs are doing that drives me nuts now. Um, I usually like uh, my ATMs to dispense twenty dollar bills. Okay. They usually do. Although I have changed now because I I I, I don't use up all my money and then what money I don't use I put I my little stash. I have a little stash. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, you go to the bank, you say I want three hundred dollars. They give you like four fifties and five twenties. And five twenties. Where is that coming from? Don't know. Anyway, five twenties, and you go, 
well, wait a minute, I don't, want, I don't want the 50s. Because what happens with the 50s is you now go into, say, a grocery store. And you go to they give buy you 20 food. singles. No, no. Change. You give them the $50 <laughs> bill. And now they have to call their boss over, who then puts it up to the light and runs it, under, it yeah. Yeah, runs it under ultraviolet or whatever to make sure it's a legitimate 50. Every time I have a $50 bill and I try to spend it anywhere, I'm treated like a criminal. So I don't want those $50 bills, but they're giving me. Card? Huh? Why don't you use a debit card? I rarely have cash except for the $2 bills and maybe 20 bucks. Because I don't do everything with a debit card. I like to have cash in my pocket. It's an old old person thing. Wow. You know? You like the Jeff, you like to have cash in your pocket, right? What do you got? What do you got there? Let's see how much you got there. Let's see how rich you are. Uh, <laughs> you know. Or, or, or you're, 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 uh, you're muted, Jeff. You're muted, Jeff. You're muted. Okay. Let's let's count it uh, out. Hold here. it yeah. higher. Yeah. Higher. Yeah. yeah. A little higher. That's about what okay. I Okay. Yeah, that's 100 a, bucks. Uh, yeah, that's about what I that's would have in my pocket. Deep. You know. I mean, come on, there a lot of times you can't use a uh, uh, you know, a debit card. Now, you think if I got mugged that the mugger would be pissed that I gave them $2 bills? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I use for cabs in New York? I use my Apple Pay. Yeah. And that's pretty convenient, you know. Yeah, Mart I, I, I've got the Starbucks uh, app too. That that's uh, you know I enjoy going in, and then when I do that, I get points. I never use the points, but I get points. Really? Uh, yeah. So on my uh, my uh, Starbucks pay, let's see how many points I have. Gee, what, uh, I, do, what I, I don't even know where my phone is. Now. I have four hundred and twelve points. Mm -hmm. Which means that I can get a free sandwich. <laughs> I don't even have my watch on tonight. I, for, yeah, I left everything in the other room. Oh well. Usually I uh, I uh, I don't leave my phone in the other room because uh, if something goes wrong with Jack's show at the end of it or something like that, and he can't oh, get on, yeah. and then he calls me, and then it wakes her up. So, yeah. you know. But I do have my iPad over. Anything. If anybody's going to call me with an emergency, I'm okay. Why are you should put it on stun? What is it? we are? Uh, uh, it, 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 um, our friend is frozen, so let's go. Let's get rid of him there for a second. Ray is frozen, which means we don't have him on here. So he's not on this Skype. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's Skype. off the Skype. Yeah, um, you know. Anyway, where are we? So, uh, anything happened today that we should know about? Um, you know, if, if we all muted ourselves, that would that would help Alex. <laughs> how, how would that help me? Uh, then you'd, you'd have to carry the show. I could do it. Yeah, I know you can. You want me Half to hang, hour. You want me to hang up on you? Sure. And and just do the show all by myself for the next hour. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just mute ourselves. But uh, I don't no, want to do so it. So what happened today? Uh, what happened today? I don't know what happened today. I wasn't paying much attention to the news. I am so sick of the fucking news. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the real news. Where's Drudge? <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Having, uh, having uh, 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 Phil uh, do the news... For you yeah. and give you the news oh, is really really the wrong thing customs computers shut down airports snarled across the usa so computer glitch uh, uh oh, wait, jeff, wait, wait, jeff i got information today yeah, yeah. denmark said oh yeah not selling anything to the united They're states not, well it, it, greenland 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 it, you know, they, they got offered $100 million by uh, Truman, and uh, they turned it down. But, you know, uh, Trump is a good negotiator, and there's only 53,000 people in Greenland. I bet you where, where did that you, he'll be the king of Greenland to begin with, on, his, where did you, on his third term. Where did you get the idea that he's a good negotiator? He wrote a book. Yeah. No, he... he <laughs> Right, Jeff. He said he was a 
He I didn't. Those, he didn't write. By the way, Jeff, Phil. Jeff almost Phil, threw, Phil, <laughs> spit out Phil, his. He didn't write that. He did, he he didn't write that book. He didn't he write. He didn't even read the book. He paid yeah. a guy to write it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Well, it 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 yeah, the, the, yeah we're going to buy Greenland. Greenland. Uh, they what the I don't know the mayor of Greenland or whoever the head of Greenland. <laughs> Uh, wrote uh, Greenland is not for sa- uh, is open for business, but we're not for sale. They're owned that by was, Norway. You know, no, they're not owned by Norway. Well, they they're are, controlled by Norway. Yeah, yeah. But they're very big. Uh, are they a continent? They're an island. They are an island. Okay, because they're almost big enough to be a continent. I, they're almost as are they as big as Australia, maybe. I don't no. know about that, but no. strategically, it's uh, it's it's good for the U.S. to have bases there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what what do they export from uh, Greenland? Ice. Green? Ice. Ice. Yeah. Uh, did Charlie freeze? Hmm? Charlie froze. They have, freeze out they, here. They have they have six, oh, yeah. 660 square miles of uh, of ice. That's it? That's all? No, they got more than that. More than that. I got six, ice oh, trays that me, have more ice 666,000 square oh, miles. Oh, that's more like it, yeah. Of ice. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when we run out of water here because, you know, our president's bound to do something to make the water go away, you know, so. Yeah. Well, you know, they bottle that Fiji water. Why couldn't they bottle water from Greenland? I have no idea. But where is everybody tonight? Usually Friday nights, we're all filled up. Mm. Well, you're filled up tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up to oh, here boy. with Phil. You're up to there with Phil. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Let me see here. Well, let me let me see what else is uh, is happening. I didn't even watch. You know, I didn't, I didn't even watch the, um, the 630 News tonight. I just, yeah, I just, I just am so tired of the news. It's There's just no news at six thirty. You got to wait till ten to get no, news. No, at least there they, you know. Here's what happens. Lester Holt has a half hour. Realistically, he actually has twenty two minutes. Okay. Why did what, Don I, Lemon take the other eight? Yeah, but. Why is it I'm about halfway through the newscast they start showing me YouTube clips? You know, it's always uh, somebody, oh, look, somebody got uh, chased by a whale or something like that. And I'm going, and then I t- decide, well, you know, NBC decided this, that they had to take out of their 22 minutes time to show you some guy being chased by a whale. So oh. I go onto YouTube and I say, Man chased by whale, and I go there, and there is the fucking clip. Yeah, yeah. Well, that... you know what CBSN had uh, tonight uh, as the feel-good story? What? Uh, two Down syndrome people got oh, married. Oh, I love Down syndrome people. They and, make a great. And story. then the husband passed away, and the woman Down syndrome person yeah. uh, sh- uh, spread the ashes. And uh, so, you know, it was like one of these, you know, uh, tear your heart out stories. Yeah. Uh, that's how they finished. Oh, well, uh, the da- news. Da- uh, let me get rid of. Uh, let me hold on a second. Let me just get rid of. Uh, b- 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 uh, let me get rid of Ray's square up there because it just it's it's not in it's, focus. It's wasting my time. You know, there we go. OK. Uh, anyway, if he comes back, uh, then we'll, you know. Give him a new square. We'll give him a new. Well, no, we'll give him that square back. In the meantime, Kevin gets the square he had last night, because he reserved it. Okay, Phil. <laughs> I'll think about it. So there. So there. Yeah. What is? What does that say? Oh, Gilroy yeah. strong. Strong. And it is strong. You, you ever smell that garlic? Oh, here, here, here. Driving through. Here it comes. It's cooking right about now. Yeah. Here comes Ray. Here comes Ray. Here comes wasting Ray. your time. Wasting <laughs> your time. What do you mean? That's a your Xanax square. reaction. <laughs> oh, no. Wasting your time. Okay. That's all I had to say. You were eating the square. Put your phone back <laughs> in your pants. I may have to. Yeah, I mean, by the I way. have to do that or I'm going to crash. Or it's either that or I hang up. I mean, why you don't want you my phone get in my something... pants or you want me to hang up? 
you do this all the time. Why don't you get something that goes on your handlebars that holds the phone? I'm going to, but well, before I was in the gym, but now I got my bike back, so I'm going to get one of those things that holds the phone. I just haven't gotten it yet. I'll get it tomorrow. By the way, at some point, you guys may have to talk to each other, and I may have to run off to the bathroom because I had the trots before I came on the air tonight, and I feel like it's Uh, coming on. TMI, huh? We'll bring the camera in the bathroom with you. (laughs) Well, yeah, Ray does. I did that once. Yeah. Well, I actually, I actually could because, but I, I don't know, I have my iPhone here because my iPhone has a, has a program on it that allows me to uh, go Walk on around. here. Yeah, yeah. You, do you, you want go. hang up? You want hang up or back of shirt? What do you mean? Hang, what do you mean hang up or back I, of shirt? I, can't, I, I, I don't want to hold the phone because it's too dangerous. Or otherwise, I got to put it in the back of my shirt and then you see gauze. Oh, or I can those. Just hang up. Those uh, bike po- bike uh, shirts yeah, have the a pocket back in the back. Pocket, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's why we were seeing red. Right. I can try uh-huh. to make the camera stick out over the top. Yeah. Let me see if I can do that over my pocket. All right. You know, if you hold those gloves right in between your fingers, there it almost looks like legs and a butt. <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow. You go <laughs> backwards on the bike lane. Well, that's because it's behind me. It's in my back pocket. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I... It's in your back. Well, that's good. That'd be a nice uh-huh. view. That uh, that rear view. That's uh, literally. Okay. A let me rear see if view. I can keep it there. Yeah. Don't yeah. drop it and don't break it. I know that's a. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. Here it's we go. Got insurance. Here we go. Wait, well, wait a minute. I forgot that's my no helmet good. today. I think it's sucks. too. It's too far down your pocket now, and we are uh, always oh, seeing. Oh, uh, it's gonna it's... keep falling. I can uh, hang up. Hey, is that an iPhone in your pants? Are you just happy to see me? There's butt crack. I see butt crack. (laughs) Oh, I could do that. I could put it down my pants and turn the flashlight on. (laughs) Nah, it'll get all sweaty. That'd be the wiener shot. (laughs) He served time for that. Yeah, there's a guy that served time for that. Anthony Wiener? Anthony (laughs) Wiener, yeah. 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 Major, Poor Wiener. Ma- we don't, we don't need Taint TV. <laughs> now, do you think he's going to run for New York mayor again? No, I doubt uh, it. Now that de Blasio is uh, looking at other uh, avenues of employment? Like what? He's not going to Oh, he pre- wants to be president. He's not going to be president. In fact, uh, you know, I got to tell you, isn't it time for some of these guys to just fucking give up? He actually does a good job in the debates, uh, de Blasio. No, he's very glib and so on, but nobody's going to vote for the motherfucker. Oh, Dinkin Looper jumped out, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He jumped yeah. out from Colorado. Yeah, he, he yeah. was one of the ones that was sort of sane. That's why he left. <laughs> well, he's you know, go look, look, look I, th- I think a lot of these guys would be better off by going back to their states and, like, running for the Senate. You know, Beto O'Rourke should give up right now and go run for the Senate again. A few of them should. He's already been a proven loser in that kind of thing. Why should he? Now, uh, now we have a lot of noise coming from Ray. Hey, yeah, have you Ray. seen Telsey Gabbard in a swimming suit? Oh, man. Where? No. Where? 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 Look yeah. on the internet. Just look up Telsey Gabbard bikini. Holy oh, oh, crap. Wait a uh, uh, oh, he, hey, hey, your pocket's making all kinds of noise, by the way. Kelsey. Okay, that's that's because he's thinking about Tulsi Gabbard yeah, and the phones yeah. in his pants. Yeah, something exploded. Is it, Kel- down is it Kelsey there. or Telsey? Tel- Telsey, Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi T U L S I. Oh, Tulsi. Tulsi Gabbard, bikini. Okay, Check wait it out. a minute. Wait a minute. Tulsi. Is that what you do all day, Ray? For half the day. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's, that's, I mean, I wouldn't do the whole day doing that. <laughs> I'd feel weird about it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, bikini? Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Tulsi Gabbard bikini. Well, I oh, don't, damn. I don't, I don't see her in a bikini. Oh, you don't? damn. Or swimsuit. Or yeah, I don't. <laughs> Is that right? Wait a minute. That looks, that looks enhanced. Swim. I don't know, man. I, I saw oh, I mean, she is buff. I'm swim. telling you. Yeah. She's a surfer. Ah. She's like a advanced. Oh, she's like an my. expert surfer. Wait a minute. I, yeah. I, I haven't found it. Oh my god! Look under images. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's kind of damn. 
Hey, man. I'll tell you <laughs> That's what. That's what we need for president right there. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll watch the news every night well, for that. Oh, for wait a minute. Her. Hopefully <laughs> she'll stir up some shit, too. <laughs> hold, Hell, yeah. Hold. She is a shit disturber, too. I love it. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. I got a shot of her. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. I can, I can go to it for the audience. See, you guys won't be able to see it. But this audience, uh, this is... Um, this is uh, what they're talking about. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, wow. Is that really her? Uh, well, yes, there's a, I, if you look at her, her right there's, enough thing, there's shots. a bunch of her in swimming suits. That is really her. Because she's, she's an expert surfer. So there's a zillion pictures of her. Uh, yeah. uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want that person to be president of the United States. I'm voting for her. I've already decided. I'm voting for that. Let's see here. Is this that her down here? No. Oh, crap. This is just her right here. Wow. Oh, somebody is sharing a screen. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm I hanging up because nice... I keep fucking up. Yeah. All oh, right. it's not you. It's Alex. No, but it's I can't keep the fucking thing. It, it, this is too dangerous. Well, I'm going to get a holder so you can. Enjoy the outdoors with me. I'll hang up and listen. Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye All right. bye. Bye if bye. I get Ray. Home, I'll call See you later. Okay. Bye. Ray, Ray is going. Bye. Uh, so that we need somebody to fill that space. Uh, you know, just be nice, actually. But anyway, uh, let me see here. Ping, 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 panel two. Is that it? Can you imagine the Midwest? Uh, uh, people voting for uh, Tulsi Gabbard with a look like that. Excuse you me, know, excuse they... me, folks, while I jerk off. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, I want that as president. Uh, well, she yeah. even looks hot in her uniform, her, her army uniform, or whatever it is. Yeah. Does she look really good in her her uh, army uniform? Let me yeah. see here. Let me uh, let me put uh, let me put. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, Patrick. Uh, Patrick, let's see here. Darth Pat, there we go. Dun, ba, dang. He right. Uh -huh. <clears throat> up, up, up above, and I do this, and then I do this, and there you got him, folks. Hello, Patrick. Hi. Uh, sorry, I'm a little late. I had to find Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah. <laughs> now my uh, screensaver background. Wait a minute. What? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. He's already loaded it up, huh? Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, it's different uh, than the one that yeah. I have. That's the one with the nipples. Oh, um, <laughs> oh really? Really? Hold on a second. Let me see what I can find here. Yeah, I mean, I already. Uh, Downloaded about three or four of them, so I got to figure out which is the best for the screenshot. But the uh, the one with the nipple, I really like. So <laughs> Pat's yeah. all over it. <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. If she's the nominee, she got my vote. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she can whatever the hell she wants to do. Take us in the uh, like communist China. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm tr I'm trying to find the picture that you found. Uh, I typed in Tulsi Gabbard swimsuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we, we uh, that's exactly what I have here. Uh, mm. uh, a Tulsi Gabbard swimsuit, but then I don't have uh, I don't get anything else. Just look at the photos. This one. Oh. And it, it did a bunch of them of her in the red. There's one with her with a uh, surfboard, mm -hmm. and obviously not one with me. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh my God. She's got oh. a red bikini. Did you see the bodybuilding oh, one? Oh, oh, oh yes, folks. Woo. Yes, folks. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mama Mia, man! I, I it, it last. I finally, you know, before I die, I would love to have a a, a president I could jerk off to. God bless America. Yeah, well, yeah. you can. Uh, his his name is Trump. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, he makes me lose my erection. Yeah. In other words, uh, guys today are, um, 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 in order to. You know, uh, 
in order to uh, keep from coming while having sex because they don't want to come too fast and keep giving the woman <laughs> pleasure, something I know, Phil, that you're not used to doing. Uh, Ever. Uh, and, and so you got to think about things, and usually it was baseball players and things like that, but now it's just you think of, uh, of Donald Trump, and you, you, but the problem is you'll probably lose your erection, too. That's the problem. That's, that's <laughs> instant ED. Y yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what uh, that's what Cialis was invented for, you well, know, in, in these days of uh, of Trump. Uh, uh, they say he's really worried about the stock market, uh, not how it's going to affect the people, but his chances of getting reelected. So that's reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's so more concerned about his. His own finances. Well, he who who lives by the sword dies by the sword, you know, yep. and uh, uh, it works out the way they say. It should be right around election when we should go into a recession. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. Right, yes. and then and then it'll be just in time for him to blame it on somebody else. So the Democrats are praying for recession. So oh. that they could possibly get their guy in. Oh no 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 no! Nobody's no. Oh, mama mia! Wait, hold on. Nobody a wants no, a reset. Hold, hold on a second. Stop a second. By the way, the thing you see in the upper right-hand corner there—that's actually the encoder that's putting out the audio for the audio thing. The nice cast. But thing. look at this. Look, look at that. Look at those pictures of her. She is just. She is now. Are those recent? They Who might cares? be older. Well, yeah. You, you know, no, what, she, you know, she looks like that now. You know, what Marjorie says maybe those aren't all her, but this one is. I think they are. Tulsi says Trump and Pence suck Al Qaeda tush. Yeah. 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 That's the one. Uh, I, then I'm not so sure. You know, I mean, that's not what somebody puts up that uh, is uh, running for president. Here, here, well, here's what uh, Marjorie says about her. Yeah, but her she has bad skin. I'm not. <laughs> Who'd lo who's looking at the skin? Yeah, <laughs> let me see here. There she is. is that her too with this, this surfboard? <laughs> yeah, it's on the surfboard. Yeah, I think she's mostly on the left. I think the ones on the right are. Oh well, that's different. her. That's her in uniform. Something you'll never see Trump in, except at you know military yeah, school. Yeah, uh, he he was in a military school. He wore a uniform. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. But anyway, so the, 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 for you folks out there, okay, I, I got rid of There's Tulsi. Trump on the right. <laughs> what do you mean there's Trump, Trump on the right? Oh, that's Alex. Oh, yeah. Anyway. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what, we, that's what we got. I don't want her to give up just because she's good looking. But she, she, she isn't doing very well, is she? She's not in the... She's doing all right. She's, doing, she's in the next debate. Uh, but no, the next debate is only going to be ten. I think she made the cut, didn't she? I think she's one of the ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'll watch. You know, I think if if they're going to hold debates, uh, the law should be they have to put everybody on. That's it. They can't control it. What do you mean they can't control well, it? People are getting uh, too uh, too few minutes of uh then of then don't time. then don't hold the fucking debate well how else are you going to get to see no, you know minute, what these minute, people do uh, uh, yes patrick uh it would become darwinism they would have everybody on the stage like alex says and then like you said phil nobody would have time <laughs> and then both <laughs> would realize maybe this isn't the best thing to allow 300 people to run, and then they would start knocking them off before the debates. It's too fucking early for debates. Yeah. Okay? This is getting ridiculous. You know? I mean, it's amazing. They had to pare them down, uh, you know, early. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they're still propping up Bernie right. and, uh, and Biden, just like it's uh, in my weekend with Bernie. Well, yeah, uh, but uh, all I'm saying is it's too early. They shouldn't be doing this. Yes, Jeff. I think they should only speak like uh, five at a time. Yeah. 
yeah. regardless of what it is. But if you have 10 people up there or where it is, eight, nine people. Who's doing the next debates, by the way? Is nobody it, gets to say enough. I don't know. Uh, they should only do them two at a time and then go down to sudden death. And then what happens is, you know, whoever wins the debate goes on to the next debate. When they get knocked off, they're they're out of the debates. So unless you win, you don't go on to the next well, debate. Well, Dan, Dan Meyer, we got Dan, Trump. Dan Meyer, <laughs> who isn't uh, isn't uh, here right now because he doesn't uh, he is not participating tonight. He writes, "How about have everyone in the debate wear swimsuits?" <laughs> then Tulsi yeah. Gabbard will win. She'd be the. She'd not only be the president; she'd be named president for life. Can you imagine Elizabeth Warren in a swimsuit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You want to lose your heart on? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, Patrick. What? Well, I, I, I was just gonna say it. I, I fully support president for life. Then. Yeah. How about uh, Bernie in a speedo? <laughs> Probably better than Elizabeth Warren. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick. You know, there, there, there's, a, there's a time in your life when you just stop going to the beach. You know what I'm you saying? Think, you think, <laughs> do you think Biden wears a one-piece swimsuit, you know, like they did in the, in the Roaring Twenties? No, he wears a swimsuit. <laughs> with the stripes? No, he wears the kind of swimsuit that Borat had in that movie. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't remember that one. <laughs> the man, the mankini, is that what it's called? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, it was like a Speedo or... Yeah. So it's more? Yeah. No, it, it wasn't like a Speedo. It, it came over the shoulder, didn't it? And then the balls were yeah. hanging out there. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> I love uh, uh, him. He has no shame at all. No. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway. Um, it used to be good. You had Pat Paulson. You could depend on him, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's well, not running. Well, there was always somebody who, there was always some comedy person running for president, you know. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, they, they would make a big joke out of it and everything. But uh, I figured that if we went long enough, one of those guys was going to win, and I was right. <laughs> I know who he was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so today... Today, Israel decided that they would let the two Congresswomen in. No, not two, just one. Oh, just one? Just the one? Tlaib. Tlaib? Uh, yeah, it was a humanitarian thing to yeah. allow her to visit her 90-year-old grandmother. Yeah. But she said uh, that she didn't want to be restricted uh, by going in. And they were right. She was going to make a scene. She was going to protest. No, no, no wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You, don't know, be you don't know that, Phil. You That's don't. what she said. You, no, she didn't say that. She didn't say she was going to protest, but no, she said she didn't no, want to be restricted. No, but she didn't want to be restricted because they were going to make her sign a waiver. And right. she didn't want to sign it. Yes. Uh, because she wasn't going to adhere to it. No, because she felt that as a congressperson, she shouldn't have to. No one else was being asked to sign the same waiver, and she wasn't going to. Yes, Good. Patrick. Let her stay up. Yes, Patrick. I, I had read uh, somewhere today that both uh, uh, both of the Congresswomen said that they were not going to visit the West Bank. So my understanding was they were both allowed to go. They were both given permission today to. Yeah, I had heard that they both they, they had said that both of them could go. Yeah. Well, as of, as of this afternoon, a noon my time, I. Thought it was just no, one. No, I think it was, I think changed. it was both. They had gone back and said those are the uh, every all the Congress people can come, but uh, if uh, if the uh, uh, if Talib wanted to come, she would have to sign some kind of a waiver saying she wouldn't do any politicking or something like that. You know, right. she wouldn't and do she it. said she wouldn't sign that because no one else was being required to sign. Yeah, that. nobody else was being required to sign it. Yeah, well, she's on their watch list. Oh, cut it out. Cut it out. Phil. Everybody else. Yeah, I think over politics. 50 Congress people have gone already to Israel. Yeah. Yeah. And, and after all, considering that we. Uh, they, they're not uh, members uh, of the uh, BDS uh, movement. Uh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Considering. Oh, I'm all for BDS. I think we should. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, the, the fact is that. Uh, um, well, now I forgot what I was going to say. Um, but we can give them 
four billion. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. Well, it's more than four billion, from what I saw. It, it, we've given them a, we've given them a, an ass load of money over the years. Yeah. They are they get more money from us than any other country. Yeah, the country. Yeah, yeah and we get more intelligence and uh, and the ability to control the oil flow in the uh, in the um, mm -hmm. uh, Arab areas. You really think so, than, Phil? Yeah, because oh, okay. uh, because okay. well, we, we have all, a we, friendly nation. We can right all we can all believe what Phil just said. So take it to the bank, folks. And by the way, yes. I hope you have it in a bank you can withdraw from real fast. Uh, Do I get one of those two dollar bills for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the bank of two dollar bills that Phil runs. You get a two. <laughs> you get a two. You get a two. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact is that it was money. that that also that Trump was put upon by just about both both sides of the aisle over this whole thing, and about yeah. his tweeting uh, mm -hmm. that they shouldn't be allowed in and things like that, and then that's why they suddenly didn't let them in, and it was uh, it's a pretty good uh, you know um, uh, it, 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 it it was a change of heart. They changed their mind faster than Trump does in a given day. So I, that, well, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, because Trump changes his mind all the time. Oh, we're definitely, we're tariffs, we're putting tariffs on goddamn China. Yeah. Wait a minute, I decided we won't do it until after Christmas so our kids can have toys. <laughs> you know, come on. Come on. You suddenly looked and saw what it was doing to the stock market, and you just didn't want to you know, have that happen. But uh, anyway, so let me see here. What else is there? Is there anything else to talk about, or should we just all go home? Wait a minute, we all are home. I'm already at home. Yeah, 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 yeah me too. Yeah. Um, um, anybody see any good movies lately? Nah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, I don't think there are good movies anymore. I think they were like yes, uh, yes, yes, Patrick. Uh, I watched The Godfather Two Saturday night after uh, Jeffrey hung himself. Oh well, yeah. Well, because I, I immediately my brain went to Tom Hagen visited him in prison and suggested that he do the right thing, and then I couldn't get that out of my head, so I had to watch it Saturday night. So that's a good movie. So. Well, yeah. I, what I also like about that movie is, you know, the, uh, they go into that bar and they, uh, they do they strangle the guy? Yeah, I think they strangle him yeah. in the bar. Yeah. You know, that bar was about two blocks away from where I lived in the uh, downtown. And, and that was, they used that same bar in um, uh, Jessica Jones on uh, Netflix. Is that the one that blew up? No. No, uh, you know when uh, the bartender, uh, what was his name? Uh, oh yeah, 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 Idris. yeah, yeah. That's the bar that blows up, right? Yeah, right, right. Nick Cage, uh, Luke Cage. Cage, yeah, yeah he, was was the, he was the bartender or something. Yeah, yeah. And that bar yeah. keeps getting used all the time, you know. But that was the bar that uh, I can't remember who got uh, who got strangled. In that Do you know? There's a headline here. It says half Americans don't change their underwear daily. New survey says. What? Half of Americans don't change well, why their should, underwear. Well, why should I? Well, you, you know, that little brown spot? Well, no, I <laughs> wait till I see the brown spot, and then I change my underpants. So you just turn them inside hey, out, right? I don't leave the house. I didn't leave the house today. I stayed home all day. I was going to go out. I was going to go work out, and I went, I'm too tired, so I stayed home. And so what, nearly half of Americans have worn the same pair of underwear for two or more days. Uh, according to the Tommy John, and that's oh. out of a thousand people responding. Wait, does Tommy John make underwear? Yeah, those yeah. are those okay. I wear actually. Uh, so, uh, huh? I wear Tommy Johns. Really? Yeah. Oh. Very comfortable. What do I wear? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Fruit of the loom. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Pain. Well, there's my penis. What? What else? <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I, I can't remember what I wear. Oh, Gap. 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 Yeah. They mm. make perfectly good underwear. Gap? 
Yeah, I, I haven't shopped in a Gap since I was 17, but, you know. Oh, no, I, sh I shop for jeans at Gap all the time. Yeah? Yeah. yeah they, Old, uh, they got a department, old man jeans? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you. You, oh, you got oh, the ones here's that go one up around, for around here's, your chest? Here's one for you. <laughs> Let me just say this, okay? And I yeah. and I don't mean any disrespect towards our fucking president. Who the hell is he calling fat? Yeah. He apologized. He called the guy up. He well, apologized. he apologized because he found out he was a Republican and an ex-Marine. Hey, he left a message. He, he left a message. <laughs> he couldn't even say, well, the guy's not home. I'm going to try him again later. Yes, Patrick. Oh, I heard that... Um Trump, he lies about his height so that he doesn't fall into the obese category in, you know, whatever scale that is, what is it, BMI? Yeah. You know, it's your height and your weight. So he lies about his height so that he doesn't fall into the obese category. So, you know, I, I just, I thought that was funny too, him calling the guy fat and I'm going, boy, they Popcorn and the kettle black there. Did you I mean, see? Uh, did you see a picture? Did you see a picture of the guy? No, uh, I just he, heard about. He was thinner than Trump. Uh, <laughs> Scaramucci said that Trump was the fattest president since Taft. Wow. Scaramucci is a piece of shit, and he's afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> he's afraid of he's what? Disparaging Italians. That, that's fighting words for Tony. <laughs> He's disparaging against Italian. The Italian should be ashamed that he is Italian. Yeah. Well, um, uh, besides that, I mean, who is the president calling fat? And why is it he always kind of either fat shames or look shames people? I mean, now, what, what is that all about? What, well, also, what happened at his rally that they had to wait for a doctor? They, he said, is there a doctor in the house? And they waited about five minutes and said, hey, you know, we got time to take you time. Well, they met a shrink and Trump needed one. Uh, no, no, they were, they were, he, Trump actually called for a doctor for somebody. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yeah, he God, said that what, you know, what he get to his rallies what, what? two days ahead of time, mm -hmm. and I guess somebody uh, had exhaustion and collapsed. No, those, aren't, those aren't rallies. Those are comedy concerts. Whatever it is. You know how Hillary didn't go to Wisconsin and didn't, uh, you know, do the certain things that won Trump the state? That man is the hardest working man in politics. Yeah, he is doing his road show yeah. seven wow. days a week. But he hasn't even fucking been nominated yet. He doesn't have to get nominated. He, he's the shoe in Oh, he maybe, maybe not. You don't know. Well, there's a few elites that would like to see somebody else, but uh, well, I, you know. I, I I always like there to be somebody else because I think in this democracy it's good if we have if everybody has to fight for their nomination, even if they're president. You know, uh, is it a grudge match? You know, you put them in a ring and no, let we do it, we it? do it as a swimsuit contest, well, and we run Tulsi Gabbard. Win. He's got Kardashian. He's got Kardashian ass. No, no. Yeah. No, he doesn't you know, have Kardashian hat. No. Did you see, you know, how the jacket fits over the ass? Yeah, but that's not Kardashian ass because if you take those pants off, yes. that ass goes to the ground. Yeah, well, maybe the Kardashian one does too. Oh, but I don't think pits. so. I don't think so. Not yeah. yet, though. Not, not yet. I bet you she has <laughs> implants. Uh, ass implants. Implants will fall once she hits about. 45, 50, it'll start sliding. So, you know. Yeah. I, I had I had this uh, guy working for me that used to do competitive bodybuilding, and he actually got a chin implant. And, uh, yeah, to make his chin. Uh, it, it's it's amazing what people will do. Yeah. 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 Well, I've had a, a lot of uh, ladies do that. Yeah. Chin implants? Mm -hmm. Right down here, because they got... Wow. Chicken. Who did I, know? I knew some woman who got a chin implant. I'm trying to remember. Very oh, no, that was a woman I knew who had sex with a Chinese guy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Bada boom. Was that, was that uh, too much? Was that 
Uh, it's, it was too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Um, but I mean, I just, I just thought this whole idea of, of, of shame, fat shaming somebody, even if he wasn't uh, a Republican. I mean, who is he to call somebody else well, fat? I, I, I got to admit, you never liked the fat shame. Uh, at Live 105, I tore off a uh, AP story on a 600-pound guy that they had to cut the door open to get him out of the room. Mm -hmm. And I gave it to you, and you said, I'm not going to do this because I don't fat shame. I didn't say Did I say that? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, because I, I kind of, I, I'm, I'm a proponent of fat shaming in this respect, okay? Follow me on this one. If somebody is incredibly fat, they're going to be dead soon. You know, I mean, you're not going to carry around that, that much weight and not be doing some great harm to your body. And so I think that by being, oh, well, you know, you don't look that fat, you know, or, or don't worry about it, you know, enjoy a life while you're at it. I, I think that if you, if you tell somebody, hey, you're fat and you need to lose some weight here. I think you're doing them a favor. Well, they they usually come back with, uh, I'm healthy at this weight, you know, and uh, I don't need to lose any weight. You know? No, but I mean, I see, for instance, uh, and again, we were Go talking. Go to Walmart. We, you we, want to see fat? We, Go to Walmart. We were talking last night uh, uh, to Charlie about the, about the fact that and I didn't consider myself racist in saying this. But that uh, I notice here in Harlem, a lot of very fat black women, especially, but also very fat black men. Now, and Charlie uh, had an answer for it that they eat fried foods and yeah, the food, fast food, yeah, well, whatever but, but, they but, eat that's but, look, not good look, for them. Look at Charlie. Charlie is not. Uh, you know, you were never fat, were you, Charlie? He's oh, oh, your mic's off, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Mike, Mike. Charlie or Mike is off. No, Mike's on the other show. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what were you going to say? Yeah, I had to mute it. Sorry. I, said, I, I, uh, I was heavier than I am now, but I was never really fat. I mean, I was overweight. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't have, just because you're black doesn't mean you have the genes or that you, you know, you got to have that fried chicken. Um, uh, you know, but, but I, I just, you know, I, and I feel bad for them in this respect that, I don't like to see a group of people who have had a, a world of trouble in this in this war in the, in this America uh, be wiped out not by the Ku Klux Klan but wiped out by their own eating habits, you know. And uh, do you ever? And it's feel, Trump's fault. Do you ever feel that way, Charlie? I mean that you know. I mean di diabetes is a much bigger problem with the black community and with the general yeah. community. Yeah. Now, what was your diabetes caused by? Did you have bad eating habits or was it just that? Oh, was sure. When I, when I was young, I drank a ton of Coca-Cola. I mean, I drank seven or eight bottles, 16 ounce bottles of Coca-Cola every day for years. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that's where I got mine from. And that's why Bloomberg is probably going after uh, you know uh, people that are drinking big gulps uh, when he was mayor, uh, because he yeah. saw the, uh, you know, uh, that it was like as bad as smoking cigarettes. It, uh, well, yeah. I, I don't see why, uh, and I, I have a real question about this. Uh, what is a little, little gazorch? Thing in the bottom right-hand corner? Yeah, and, what is that? Is that, that your nice cast thing? I, I don't know. Let me see here. Let me, uh, let me go. Uh, let me you might be able to move it out of the... No, out of the way. No, no, that's not it. What is what? What is that? That's some kind of like a noise that's going on on. Yeah, these, it's. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. If I put on another one of these, is there a problem there? No, it's only on that one. Huh. That's strange. Yeah. Uh, isn't that where you have your full house? No, uh, no, no. It has nothing to do with that. Well, uh, it's not on that one. Uh, now it's there. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with that. I, I have no idea what that is. It's a little flashing if you look, folks. It's only on that. Uh oh, it's only on the one uh, on the one uh, gabnet thing. Yeah, yeah. 
if I go to a, if I go to a single panel of somebody's picture like <coughs> yours, there's it's not there. Uh, who knows? You know, it's, it's free. It's, it, o- it's always something. It's always something. So yeah, you know, uh, if if two more people would call, I could get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> if I go to the but you panel, you could still get rid of it. You just have a screen oh, with a more I space. Have, I have it on the three too. Yeah, I have it on that one too. So. Who knows? Who knows what it is? I have no idea. Okay. I give up. Uh, I kind of like it. Huh? I like yeah. it. You kind of like it? Yeah. I yeah, just would like to know tech. what the hell it is. You know? Uh, it's probably some kind it's of... It's Trump. Huh? It's Trump. He's listening. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, I could just go to the single pictures of everybody, and then we wouldn't have to put up with it. But, uh, Ray Renati wrote me, and he says, Frenchmen change their underwear once a week. It's yeah. a fact. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Whether they need to or not. Well, he's from France. Or he, or he was no, from, his wife is from France. His wife is from France, right. I thought they don't have any underpants when you live in France. Uh, 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 yeah, I guess. <laughs> is there a song that goes through? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is all on these... Uh, um, uh, 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 well, it's, I have it on the uh, 12 panel. A, a lot of it on the 12 panel. If you if you look at this, look at that. Look, uh, it'll see take that? a while till oh, I a see a it. But uh, wait a minute, it's not, there's nothing on the single shot. Wait a minute, it's not there now on the 12 panel. It's on this one here. No, it's not on there. It's, it it's on, on the that one. Panel? Yeah, but it's on the six panel. Hmm. Uh, this is the 12 it's panel. Strange, but it's on the 12 panel. But you don't see it on the 12 panel. If I go to the twelve, I don't see it on the ten, on the ten, see, or the it, nine. I, I I see it on uh, the six. Yeah, no, no, only on the six. Yeah, yeah. six and the uh, three. How about the three? No, there yeah, the it is. three. You got three. It. Well, no, the nine. The, uh, now I'm looking at a. I was looking at a twelve. And I know, over it. the weekend, I'll figure out what the fuck it is. Okay. Yeah. You know. Uh, but I just noticed it. It's not a problem, you know. But uh, what is it a video of? It's there's nothing going on down there. So I don't know. I wow. give up. I give up, folks. Uh, you know, I could. Uh, let me see here. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. What if I do away with uh, the cabinet name? No. And what if I do away with the address? No. Oh, wait you sure it isn't the nice cast thing that no. a rectangle because it's got the blue line that what, the nice cast what, 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 had? What do you mean the ni- nice cast has nothing to do with it, Phil? That's I know, but it's on your screen. No, it's not on my screen. When you shared your screen, I yes, saw it. Yes, but but that would have nothing to do with this. Uh, well, maybe it's behind it. No, it's not behind it. Let me let me let me see. I have the screen. And then I tell it to, I, I do away with the, uh, uh, the, the window capture, and it's still there, Phil. So, you know, I All don't right. know why you think it's that, you know. Because it sort of looks like it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look it's like it. It's got that same anymore. color blue in the bottom going no, across. No, like. It's just got some stuff. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I can't... Uh, I could do away with the background, and we could see if that has anything to do with it. And, you know, that could we're, be. We're infected. Oh, well, that could have something to do with it. I don't know. Let me see here. I'll, I'll change this. Look, we go to the black background. Is it there? No, it's not there. Uh, it's going to take a second before it comes uh, up on Panel bl- bl- blue. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but if I turn it back on here. Black, and... you don't see it. Black, you don't see it, but it might be there. It's just you're not seeing it because of the black. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, mm. I'm not going to worry about this. It's all part of the, it, it, as long as the show looks good. Hey, Alex, mm-hmm. even even Charlie will tell you this. Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I need to change the background or something. Uh, but, uh, so, it's uh, you know. What 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 else what else do we have to talk about? Anything? Oh, uh, let me see. Let's see here. There's uh, nothing there. Let me see here. Um, okay. Yeah. 
Is there anything else uh, in the news that we're? Uh, I got to go back to Drudge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I, I keep getting hit with um, uh, uh, pop-up advertising when you uh, religious black voters weigh Mayor Pete's bid. Mm -hmm. How Buttigieg found God. Mm -hmm. Weinstein's trials delayed again. Yeah. Um, I, Stowaway found on flight from Havana to Miami. To, let's go back to Weinstein for a second. All right. No. I, I bet you he skates. Oh, yeah. I bet he skates. Uh, not that I'm rooting for him to skate, but I bet he does. You know. Well, let's see what this says. Um, prosecutors go back to grand jury. Tri will trial be delayed? Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I bet even if there is a trial, he's going to skate. If the prosecutors are going back to the grand jury, maybe they don't have a strong enough case, and they're uh, trying to see what they can muster up. Well, I mean, this is this is one of the you know. Here's the thing that's going to happen with Weinstein. Uh, I think he's going to skate. All right. Let's say he skates. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, does that mean he gets to make movies in Hollywood again? No, nah, he's done. He's done. He's done. No matter what, he will always be suspect. He's going to he he's going to team that, up with. Is that going to team up with stir up the Me Too movement again? Nah, he's going to team up with Kevin Spacey, and the two of them will make movies. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know they're they're both pariahs in that business. Yeah. So uh, you know, just like the blacklist people, uh, you know, uh, did a lot of stuff together. Mm -hmm. Why not uh, Kevin Spacey and Weinstein? Uh, that, I mean, uh, who who knows what's going to happen? But uh, well, uh, Spacey, for instance, right now has no charges against him. There are no. some pending. Maybe in California they're looking into charges, and in England they're looking into charges from the time when he was at the old Vic. Um, Yes, folks. I just, I just did it. I didn't really do a pick. I was scratching the inside of my nose. Just don't eat it. Well, somebody wrote on the thing that I was picking my nose the other night when I was just doing this. <laughs> oh, no, you were doing this. There, it was one of these. You know. It's Actually, it's, it's like I this. feel like it's Seinfeld. No pick. No pick. <laughs> there was no pick. You know. Uh, but I mean, it's. Oh, I mean, I, I. My question is, what happens to these guys uh, who have all been? I mean, what Spacey worked since then? No. Uh, I think he did one thing, didn't he? No. 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 If he did it, it was something that was already filmed. Oh. And and by the way, no, did, I don't know that it was a film thing. I, well, he did something that was filmed. That thing about Getty. In which he oh. played J. Paul Getty. They didn't take him out of it? Or, or is it J. Paul? Was it was a J. Paul Getty, yeah. Uh, and uh, they replaced him with another actor. They did all the scenes. Yeah. They had him, but the whole film was shot, and then they went back and did all the scenes that had Spacey in him, took him out, and put this other, and he put, what's his name, Plummer in yeah. as Getty. And uh, I, I just don't know that I would have said that you, to begin with the movie didn't do very well anyway. <laughs> so it didn't I think really... Plummer would have been a better Getty yeah. anyway. Huh? Plummer might have been a better Getty. Do you think so? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. If you say so. Yeah. Uh, uh, he what? What I say goes. He played Getty. You know. Yeah. I mean, you know. I, I mean, I Spacey. I think is an okay actor. I just never thought he was. Terrific, you know. So anyway, by the way, I am sorry for the exorchness on the bottom of the picture down, down, wait a minute, down there. See that that glitching? It doesn't happen when I go to my twelve. So see, it's gone. Is it there? No. Okay. Yeah. Well, you hmm. haven't moved the the thing yet yeah. for us. Yeah. But oh, I, I don't are. know. Yeah, what, it's there. It's there uh, on the 12th. It, it's there, yeah, yeah. It, it, probably if I rebooted uh, 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 o, it's not o, on the nine. OBS, I would be fine, you know. Yeah. So. But, you know, who knows why this stuff happens. But I don't care. The show sucks anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't improve it or hurt it. So. 
So you like OBS and BDS. And, and right? I have IBS. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And um, well, have you ever noticed that in all these ads for diseases now, they don't say like, uh, oh, like painful rectal itch. They call it, P I have PRI. <laughs> you know, they, they, they don't want to say what the disease is. So, you know, um, I have terminal you gonorrhea. I have TG. Uh, you know, imagine being the actor that's known for that, that really doesn't have it, but it's just an actor portrayal. And they say, oh, yeah, you're the person with jock itch. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you on TV. Yeah. 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 You, you like my ad, do you? Can I get your, can I get your autograph? <laughs> Wipe it here. Will you sign my jock strap? Yeah. <laughs> And, and then what I really find that I love about those ads more than any other uh, is is the fact that uh, the uh, uh, the when they bring the contradictions on because they have to get I like guess only ten seconds worth of hey if you've got painful rectal itch you need Lyrica or whatever and yeah. then they go for like may, fifty may seconds cause death. with all the contradictions and while that's happening my favorite part of the commercial is seeing what's going on on screen. Yeah. You know, oh, they yeah. say, may cause heart attack, may cause uh, painful rectal itch, may cause uh, uh, hemorrhoids to appear out of nowhere and <laughs> pop in other people's faces. And people will like playing badminton, you know? And they're, or they're, they're, if it's for an older product, they're taking the grandchildren for a walk, you know? And everybody says, they think that's going to take your attention from, away from the fact that it says the chances are this drug, if you take it, is going to kill you. Yes, Patrick. I wonder Pat. why they do that. That's Patrick. Um, one of the cancer drugs that they say extend your life for, I think it's an additional like three months or something like yeah. that. And I'm not being facetious. I think it, it that it's something like 48 percent success to extend your life an additional three or four months. For well, anyway, um, one of the commercials I was paying attention exactly as you were saying, Alex what was going on mm -hmm. and I paid so much attention that it was a it was an actual woman from Wisconsin mm -hmm. and I recognized the license plate from <laughs> Wisconsin. And they ran that most of two thousand eighteen. I haven't seen it since. I wonder if she's not with us anymore. And that's the thing with those if yeah, you're getting people I mean, she was on, and she was with the grandkids and all of this. And then I noticed they changed the commercial. And I thought, how many months has it been? And, I mean, we're, in, we're heading towards September, and I haven't seen her on this commercial in, it's got to be since last, maybe, uh, September. So you wonder, you know, when did she kick off? And I haven't, I mean, there was nothing in the papers here. I'm sure she wasn't famous or anything, but that the thing is, if you get real people, they can really die. And well, I, but I don't know if the people in those commercials necessarily have the affliction that one, they're talking about. This, huh? this one, um, what is it, Kate, uh, Kate Truder or some, one of them that extends your life for cancer, yeah. and it says actual patient not actor portrayal oh and, really yeah and that's why i really paid attention and then i noticed it was a wisconsin license plate on the family van and i'm like holy shit okay and then it said like 48 percent uh success rate to extend your life uh or quality of life three to four months and so I, I mean, I see this commercial constantly. Well, I, I often wondered why, why, you know, I've seen those two where it says, may extend your life three months. And you're going, you mean I got to take this shit and spend $20,000 a month on this drug so that I can live an extra three months? And you know. what about quality of life? I mean, well, that's what who, you who are you going to leave the money to, Alex? You might as well. You could do Gabnet for three more months, uh, you know. <laughs> 
Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Then you leave nobody nothing. Uh, Here comes Ray Renati at the last moment to take up his square, which I I gave up to Patrick, so he can't have it. No, he's just taking up space. Let me see. Where where is he now (laughs) that all the noise is coming from? Let's see here. Uh, I just, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why is it still ringing? Huh? What? What's ringing? All of, a sudden, ringing. Still ringing. all of a sudden, he disappeared. There we uh, go. Okay. Now. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. We don't know what happened there either, but uh, there, there you I, are. I just wanted to see if I could talk to you a moment about diarrhea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Before the show. Did you, did you, were you the man who did the commercial for diarrhea? I wish. <laughs> Hey, listen, listen. As as someone who knows the the landscape, Ray would be very happy to be diarrhea. Okay. I would like to be diarrhea, man. And and oh, have yeah. that spot run forever. Now Fuck here yeah. here's the thing that I feel bad for. Is uh, do you have your hand up, uh, Patrick? Do you want to say something? Go ahead. Say what you're going to say. What I was going to say is for years, uh, this um, uh, uh, smoking helper drug, I can't remember the name of it now, the spokesperson was Ray Liotta. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 now he quit smoking. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. And he's been replaced by an animated turkey. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Ray? <laughs> Ray, Ray Liotta's doing these uh, commercials for Chantix. Uh, for, That's for it. The, uh, no, no, not, not anymore. Yeah, he's not been anymore. replaced by well, a is he fuck, smoking again? He's been he's been replaced by a slow turkey. Well, it's cheaper. The turkey is works. And cheaper. I'm thinking, like, you know, you're going around saying, "Hey, I got this job. I'm doing lyric. I'm doing uh, Shantix. I'm I'm the spokesperson for Shantix, and 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 I'm making this ton of money. Oh, what? They're replacing me with a fucking turkey? Yeah. You know. I, uh, uh, one time I got replaced on a TV show, my part, which I had played for five years on Comedy Tonight, was taken over by Whoopi Goldberg. That was bullshit. A turkey. <laughs> a turkey. <laughs> I Were you on University, sucked. Ray? I'm on, uh, uh, right, right near University. I'm like Gosh. on Emerson or something. This is Buca de Beppo, man. That's the kitchen. You go yeah, through the yeah, kitchen. Yeah. Buca de Beppo? Yeah, they give you way too much Italian food. Uh, way too much Italian food. Yeah. You gotta, it's like diarrhea. food for a week. <clears throat> Listen, I mean, one plate of spaghetti is way too much Italian food, so far as I'm concerned. Oh, my God, they give you so much, it's absurd. Like, I'm back dieting again just because... I haven't gotten on the scale, and I don't intend to get on the scale ever again. I've decided that that's it for me in the scale, because I, I let it terrorize me. So, uh, well, just keep changing your height. <clears throat> I, yeah, I keep changing my height, and I will be, I will be just fine. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so you're, you're, where are you? You're on University Avenue, are you? And, I, I, I'm right two blocks down from you. University's right up there. Uh-huh. And, and in Palo Alto? And it's Thursday night. Yeah, so all this, it's really crowded because it's Thursday, so all the students and stuff are out yeah. from Stanford. Yeah. It's like a Friday. Is it Friday or Thursday? It's what Friday. Oh, it's Friday. That's why it's packed. Yeah. But it's it's a nice that's a nice little town. I I yeah. I, I really uh, enjoy that. I enjoyed Palo Alto anytime I. We used to go down there and do shows down there and stuff like that. I used to do all my uh, a lot of my concerts uh, at what was the club that was, was the down? Circle? Uh, no, no, Circle I, Star. No, I did no, the Circle no, the, Star. At no, San Carlos. Uh, the Edge. No. Oh. Something else. I can't remember the name of it now. But. Oh, the one where. Uh, uh, what, uh, what's his name? The singer. The, Keys- uh, uh, the Keystone? Uh, yeah, Keystone. Yeah. Yeah, Keystone Palo Alto. Jerry yeah. Garcia used right. to play there a lot. Right. It's gone, I think. Yeah, but uh, yeah. we used to do all yeah. our a lot of our all our shows in Palo Alto down there. Yeah, uh, Keystone was was a hot place, but I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, it stayed up long. Uh, stayed, oh, who's that? She. Oh. she, she yeah, I know. Uh, there's a bunch of she, there's like yeah. a really good, cute one right in front of me, but you can barely see. You see your legs right there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm going to get in trouble. I'll tell you what, we'll have you do. Go down to university. Is your yeah, wife no, watching go down this to show? University. No, Go down God. to university one night, and we'll just scope the chicks, okay? 
Oh yeah, for sure. You, you know. Yeah. We'll get we'll be me too'd out of the business. Hey, uh, you know, Alex, when oh, well, uh, oh, when they had the mudslides in Sausalito, we yeah. went walking around looking for chicks and yeah. went to the 7-Eleven, yeah. called into the show mm -hmm. uh, because we were stuck in Sausalito for a week or four yeah. days. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, uh, we've run out of time here, uh, but, but we've had a good time tonight. Uh, oh, it, and Phil's been very good tonight. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. That's because he changed his underwear this morning. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Patrick. Every morning. I'm not French. Thank you so much. We <laughs> appreciate it, Phil. Thank you. Thank you to Ray. You uh, betcha. And thank you to Charlie. We always love having you here. And Kevin, you as well. Why doesn't everybody give a like a big uh, wave goodbye? And I'll, I'll wave right back. Look at me. I'm waving now, folks. There we go. Okay. That's it. That's our... Uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. That's our citizen panel for the week. That's our citizen panel um, going away and me hanging up on them and getting offline. Uh, hold, hold on a second. Come on, I'm trying to, I can't get this to, oh, there we go. Okay, gotta make myself invisible. So the Jack Bishop can use the Skype lines next and I hope you call him using them. Uh, he's next over most of the same station. I'll be back again um, Tuesday night, not after Damien, because he's taking another week off. God, he's lucky. Uh, uh, I, and I'll see you on Tuesday night uh, at 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you later. <laughs>